Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP ZBook Firefly 16G11. To gain access to the internals of this device, you have to undo only five captive Phillips head screws. Use a lever tool to pop the two areas close to the top two corners. This will create gaps in these sections. Fully pry the back with a thin plastic tool and work your way around the sides and the front. Our laptop has the base 56-watt-hour battery model, but you can opt for a 76-watt-hour variant for longer autonomous work. To take out the unit, pull out the connector towards the battery itself and undo the four Phillips head screws that fix the battery to the chassis. The capacity is enough for around 11 hours and a half of video playback. The result is good considering the punchy hardware. Our test was conducted with the Battery Saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the Smart Sense mode applied in the MyHP app. The RAM section is covered by a metal shield which can be popped by lifting it using the attached fabric handles. According to HP, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz RAM in dual-channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The soldered Wi-Fi 6E card is placed in the top right part of the mainboard. Sadly, you get just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. There is a small thermal pad below the pre-installed NVMe. The cooling system has one large fan, a pair of long heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU alongside a heat sink, and two heat spreaders.